You better be single and whole than being married and broken. There is no urgency. Marriage is not an emergency. Where you stand determines what you see. And where you stand also determines who sees you. Yes, welcome to the Wisdom Talk. I'm Joe Wisdom. And uh, Happy New Year. The year is still new. Uh, this is February and we are grateful to God that uh, we continue to enjoy the goodness of God and the faithfulness of God. We are hoping that this year will be a great year for all of us. And, uh, you know, we are coming from Valentine and there's so much that was happening. I want to appreciate all those who attended the, uh, the, the Seagulls dinner. It was, a, it was a powerful event and much appreciation. May I also extend uh, our gratitude to those who attended the couple's will dinner. Yeah, we thank God that you people are good friends of ours. You are following us. You are encouraging us. And the programs that we have for you this year are great programs. I know you'll be edified. And as we work together, I know that every one of us have something to pick. You cannot leave Wema TV empty-handed. You have something to take home. So today we want to, uh, to look at, uh, at, 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 at our friends who are single. You know, I tell people, if you are not married, then you don't need to be worried. You don't need to be worried because singlehood is a time to explore life. Singlehood is a time to find oneself. Singlehood is a moment, you know, to get your best foot on the ground. You know, if there are days that every married couple, every married person misses, is the single life. You know, when you are single, nobody asks you where, you where you are coming from. Nobody would, you know, you are not even bothered. If you are 500, you are single, you can eat all of them. And Christ is still Lord. But if you are married, my friend, you have to think about those children. You have to think about those so many other things. The cares of life are there. And actually, that's why Paul is quoted saying that if you can remain single, you'd rather do. But also he adds that instead of burning with passion, then get a partner. So today we want to look at wisdom for singles. Wisdom for singles. And by singles I mean those who are not married. And I want to drop some nuggets of wisdom that will help you, that will help you even understand singlehood more and even position yourself for better days ahead. One of the things that I want every single person to know is that no one is late. No one is ever late. Even if you are 30, even if you are 40, there is nothing, that, that, uh, there is nothing like being late. Being late to do what? There's nothing like you being delayed. Being delayed to do what? Marriage is not the answer to everything. I have people who are in marriage and they are wishing they can get out of it. Actually, they are on their way out. And, and, and listen to me. Being a minister of the gospel, I, I, I advocate for marriage. But let me tell you, you better be single and whole than being married and broken. So single, you are, don't feel late. There is no urgency. Marriage is not an emergency. There's nowhere you are going. So take your time. There's nothing like being late. Just take your time. Develop yourself. Grow. You know, do things that matters at every particular moment. That's what matters at this moment. If you are in school, concentrate with your studies. If you are working, you just work, make money, invest. When the right person comes, then it will be a good time to connect. So number one, no one is late. Number two, master your assignment. If you are single, you need to know that God never created you in the first place to get married. God created you to accomplish um, an assignment. When God created you, he had an assignment in mind. He had a purpose in mind. So finding your purpose is finding your life. There's nothing dangerous as getting into marriage when you are lost. Because you will never find yourself. You are getting into another confusion. You are adding to the confusion of the other person. So when you find yourself, when you master your assignment, it becomes very easy for you to locate the right person. 
it becomes very easy for you to locate the right person. Actually, if you know what you want, it will be very easy to locate and to be located. Let me repeat this statement again. Where you stand determines what you see. And where you stand also determines who sees you. If you are standing on your assignment, then those who matters, those who are going where you are going will locate you. But if you are standing on the wrong place, the wrong place, the wrong people will locate you. That is why you keep, you, you keep getting wrong people. You be attracting wrong people. Why do people keep attracting the wrong people? Because you are standing on the wrong place. Stand on your assignment. People who matters will come to you. So you must master your assignment. I remember one day I was under so much pressure to get married. And it's not that I was even old. I was basically 22 years. Kuna jamaa na niangalia hapa naitwa 21. I was basically where you are. But let me tell you, there was a lot of pressure because of the people I was working with. And, and they, they were really pushing me to marry. And let me tell you, I began giving God pressure. I need a wife. I need a woman. I need a lady. One night, God rebukes me and tells me, Joe, I never created you to get married. Even if you don't, even if you don't get married, you have a purpose to execute. You have a purpose to fulfill. You have an assignment to execute. And this was the promise that was given to me at that moment. Your wife is preserved. She's safe. She's secure wherever she is. Later on, God brought her about. And right now, by the grace of God, we are happily married. So what I'm saying is that master your assignment. If you can find yourself, you can find anything else that you need in life. Number three, Take care of yourself. Ladies, gentlemen, listen to me. Take care of yourself. You know, when you're single, you can live a decent life. You can, you can model a kind of a life that you have always desired. When you get your salary, just go and treat yourself. You know, take care of yourself. Imagine, eat well. If you're single, eat well, my friend. The journey ahead is long. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I know there are people who are born again and you are trusting God for a, for a fiancé. And let me tell you, 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 you are so much into prayer and fasting. There is no prayer, there is no problem with prayer and fasting. But my friend, you need to be healthy as well. You are going 40 days, 50 days, 70 days, prayer and fasting. My friend, by the time you are coming to your spouse, you look like a weapon. You need to be healthy. You need to be healthy. Eating healthy is good. Prayer and fasting is good. But everything needs modesty. You know? So treat yourself well. Take care of yourself. Brand yourself. Become a brand. Even as a single man. Become a brand. See, vijana, those single men. You know, I have a problem with the single men because they rarely take care of themselves. Unapata jama, you know. Have you ever wondered why uh, these these single men don't, don't even don't, don't you know uh, don't, don't don't even you know, you are not even sure that they have other years. You are not sure. Actually, some of them, the only thing that is remaining is the rubber is the rubber band. Iye akakapa ju uku chini akuna kitu kaliisha anakasa kazuru. You know, they, they, they look like suspects. And, and, and it's just basically because you cannot take care of yourself. You cannot take care of yourself. It's good to take care of yourself. Do some nice boxers. Wacha kusema uko ni kutupa pesa. Atuwe unakataga vinyasa. My friend, take care of yourself. The single life that you are living is just a continuation. Your marriage life will just be a continuation of your single life. So if you don't know how to take care of yourself, you'll also be punishing the person that God will bring to your life. Yeah. Do some nice cologne. It's, it's important. You're not punishing yourself. Remember, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You know? It's good to take care of yourself. Take a shower. Wacha kusema atileo sija sweat. Huogi, unaka like one month or like one week. The only time you interact with water is when it's raining, accidentally. Take care of yourself. It's good to, to exercise proper hygiene. 
path. Some of them unapatana na wao, they slay you by the power of the bad or death that's coming from their body. It's good to take care of yourself. You can be, you can be, you can be a decent, good-looking young man. Remember, you attract your kind. No, you attract your kind. You don't attract who you want, you attract who you are. You don't want to be a, a you you want you don't want to be a health hazard in other people's lives. So it's very important for you to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Treat yourself well. Take yourself out. Eat well. Uh, buy some apples. Eat my boy. You know, if you're a young man, anza kujifunza kupika. Now, sasa umekura mkate na avocado for almost two years. Every day, a bread and avocado. Hmm? It's very dangerous. Eat well. Learn to cook good food. So it's, it's, good to, it's good to adopt a good and a decent lifestyle. And I think last three, allow me to tell you young person, you single person, that there are better days ahead. There's someone for you. There is always someone for you. You don't need to go looking for a sugar mommy. You don't go, you don't need to go looking for a sugar daddy. There is a young person for you if you are young. If you are old, by they who said anybody is young, all of us are old at some point. Regardless of your age, there is always someone looking for someone like you. Exactly like you. Your age, your complexion, you don't need to change the way you are, you don't, you know, your complexion, your height, there's someone looking exactly someone like you. And may they find you. So, I wish you well, single people, and I salute all single people who are taking care of themselves, and I can tell you that better are the days ahead of you. I am Joe Wisdom, and that is Wisdom Talks.